Justin Trudeau, the homie. I hope you feel better. I hope you get over whatever it is you're feeling. Okay. And um, nothing but the best wishes. So we live and breathe. We live and breathe. This story even made it to CNN. And um, we're talking about the truckers, right? The protests, the vaccinations. And this is a big deal, a really big deal. And um, uh, Justin Trudeau, what? He calls in sick? I'm not. Yeah, a- well, I mean, the truckers, and I don't even know how many of them there were, but if you watch the Joe Rogan podcast, it's apparently 50,000. So <laughs> we all know Joe Rogan's usually accurate, but that's cool. Um, he spoke to this and. And it's a protest not against the vaccine. I want to be very clear because that's a lot of that's some of the misinformation that's going around. I said these are anti-vaxxers that these are anti vax No, it's not just you, though. It's not just you. It's 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 common. Right. This is not an anti-vax protest. This is a protest against the mandate that has been set by the government that truckers are required to be vaccinated in order to transport services. Now, for those who are not familiar with trucking and I am. My dad, my uncle, a couple of my uncles are truckers. That's how I'm familiar with this, okay? So I'm not just talking on my ass on this one, all right? If you want to talk about people who make the least amount of contact during their job with other people, truckers are at the top of that list. Everywhere they go, they back in to where they are and they sit in the cab waiting for whatever it is to be loaded. They might fall asleep depending on how long it is. Or they might just read a book, depending on. But they stay, especially during wintertime. They don't leave the cab. If they do leave the cab, it's to walk in a different direction from where everything's being shipped. And everybody is in the shipping warehouse where everything is being loaded from. So there's no worries about any of that. When you are driving for miles on the road and your window is open, that's fine if you're a trucker because you're higher up. So guess what? Even if this is airborne, it's going to go upwards. That's naturally where things go. It's called gravity. So we don't have to worry about that either. So if you want to talk about the jobs with the least amount of contact, it's definitely trucking, but they're so important. They are so important that you don't understand that we would have nothing on our shelves. We would have nothing in our retail. There would be nothing here. They keep the country moving for sure. We'd have nothing here. There would be nothing to talk about if we didn't have truckers. And I'm not just talking about Canada. I'm talking about globally over the whole world. But for some reason, Canada watches the way... The world is handling their truckers and they feel obligated to do something completely different from the rest of the world. That is completely unnecessary because when did these stats come out that truckers were the ones passing this vaccine? I got to be honest with all this stuff around. I've never once heard truckers in the conversation. Not even once. I don't get it. If they were touching the product, I could understand this, but I don't. Yeah, no, there's, not, there's not. Sorry, sorry. There's go not. Ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I want to point out the obvious. It's yes. not one guy loading this massive big rig, i.e., the trucker, and it's not that same trucker who is unloading this massive big rig. Each he or she is just driving the whip. That's it. This is the most ridiculous thing, and you're making great points. And I apologize for interrupting. Go no, ahead. it's fine. No, it's fine because I, I want I want you to be able to say your opinion or I could go on for, for 30, 40 minutes about this because it affects me personally, because as I just told you, I have family. In the, so they're being affected by this right now. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. when it comes to Justin Trudeau, Justin Trudeau went down there and then made the statement. And we never spoke about this because it was so ridiculous, but then made the statement that these truckers are the minority opinion of the entire trucking system as far as this mandate goes along, which is great. You want to say that on TV? That's hilarious. But explain to me how a GoFundMe can earn over $4 million in less than a week from a minority. What minority? I want to be part of that minority. Nigga, we are part of the wrong minority. Seriously. Because there's minorities out here getting millions of dollars for points that don't make any sense for the majority. I just think it has to do with opinion. You could be a trucker and still get vaccinated of your own volition. Your choice. Get vaccinated if you want to. And if so we take the we take the number 100. And if 50% of the truckers in that industry are vaccinated and the other 50% obviously are not, 
you don't go, excuse me, let's say it a different way, 51% are vaccinated and the other 49% are not. You don't go with the 51% only because common sense has to come into play. And if you don't know the common sense I'm referring to, I encourage you to rewind this video and play it from the beginning to hear how you described how the trucking business works, like the job. They come into zero contact. So there's no reason to put a mandate on these people. Even at 51% are banging down the door. Yes, mandate, mandate. We're all vaccinated. F those guys and girls, mandate. Doesn't matter. Common sense says I'm not interacting with anyone. Leave me right. alone. If I, I want to get it, I get it. Aware, I don't know if people are aware of how big a, a 18-wheeler is or even a, even a 12-wheeler, you know, even a U-Haul truck. I don't know if you're aware of how big these trucks are, but there's definitely six feet of space between the person loading it and the person sitting in the front of the, of the cab. Besides the fact that they're inside of a closed space, enclosed space. So this to me is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. This is the government. Like, you know, what's crazy is uh, I don't remember exactly what video it was before, but I know you remember me saying that I feel like what they're doing is a test because they're going to see how far they can take it the because if people, people have already accepted. You remember when I said that people it's, have already accepted say it all these the time. <laughs> People have already accepted these mandates. So we're going to see how far we can take it without any type of repercussion. And listen, I love the support that all these truckers are getting. I love it. But let me tell you one thing I can hate about Canadians. We are so follow fashion that it is it is it hurts my soul because what everybody's saying right now is what everybody should have been saying so much longer ago. And it took the truckers because when we were talking about nurses who needed to be mandated and all that stuff, that was acceptable. Now we're complaining that there's not enough people work to work in the hospitals and we're over, over staff, uh, understaffed and overworked. Well, you set yourself up for that dumb shit and we sat here and let you do it. Finally, we have somebody stepping up and saying, no, this is dumb. This doesn't make any sense to me at all. And now everybody wants to be like, put up their little posts on I, their little posts on Instagram and Twitter talking about, oh yeah, this has been, finally you guys get to, where the fuck were you months ago defending other people, man? Where were you? It took this, now you want to jump on the bandwagon because it's getting a little bit of traction because you saw it in the news a little bit more. You guys are fake as fuck. I hate I, this shit. Well, personally, I hate that shit. Per personally, I just think that, and I don't, we don't have to get into it, but I just personally think that the case for truckers is a lot more obvious like the to me uh, one and one plus one is two man you are not coming into contact with people right You're that part not. is definitely the difference that part is definitely the difference you i still think I mean? mandates are dumb though in general but that's i get what you're saying Nurses and doctors are in contact with more people, and you're in contact people with people that often. have the virus. Remember, they're 100%. In that, in, yeah, but 100%. I mean, but they're like, also required, they also require nurses to wear a mask and then a face shield, gloves, sanitize on a regular basis. Like, there's a time schedule to the sanitization process there, and then sanitize all the equipment and everything that they use. So, they're doing all of the stuff that you're telling us or you're you guys are saying should protect them properly without having. The vaccine. These are all the things that we can do to prevent it. Look, but now you're telling us that the only thing that can do that is the vaccine. So now we're making it mandatory. That's what you're saying when you do that. And that's what I have a problem with, because that's obviously not true. And it's become very blatant by all the people catching Omicron right now that are double dosed. Well, so I, that's I, why I said we should have been fighting about this months ago. Well, look, Here I, we I, are I, now. I'll, I'll tell you this. Because I'm an optimistic. When this is all said and done, whether we just choose to live with it and this is our lives now, which is probably going to be the case, I uh, don't believe. I hope the doctor said that, yeah. I don't believe that COVID will ever go anywhere. Eventually, every country, continent, we're just going to get into a space where we know how to manage it. Period. With that being said, once we get there, I'm curious to see when they roll back all the tape from 2020. Just to be like, why the hell did we do that? What the hell were we thinking? That was dumb. It made a little bit of sense. You understand what I'm saying? There's going to be so, and I get it, it's new. So you're kind of moving on the fly. But this trucker 
situation we're talking about, there are many other examples that resemble this. And Nigga, we're going to be looking back on the one thing that we're going to be looking back on. And this is sorry to cut you off again, is the is the mass situation and not the wearing of the mask. The what is deemed a proper versus a non-proper mask, because we went from N95 to whatever can cover your face at this point. Mm. Right. I just went to the grocery store. I'll put it out there. I just went to the grocery store and I used my scarf to cover my face. Nobody gave me any problems. Not a second look, not a question, no nothing. You want to what happened to the N95? Yo, yo, you want to hear something funny? My wife, on more than one occasion, has walked into, and I'll leave the establishment out. It's a big one. Has walked right. into uh, an establishment, a big one, on multiple occasions with nothing on her face. Right. Walk by employees, everything. And I have to remind her. In fact. And nobody I, says nothing. Nobody said. And that's only because they're just tired of it. The employees are not allowed to, are not allowed to, to force people to, because you could have um, a health condition or an exemption. Yeah. So yeah. by law, by law, and I know that because I work somewhere where they have to get, you have to show your vaccine thing. Yeah. So not allowed to ask, mm. not allowed to ask. Mm. So that's the thing. Okay. Okay. You got it. So, so. That that to me is also confusing. That to me is also confusing, though, because you're telling me that I'm not allowed to ask. So then people could be walking voice. around. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You, you see where I'm going with it? You see where I'm going with it? So they, they, they're they putting in things here and there, which it, it might have made sense. Like the mask thing made sense at the beginning because we thought it was transmitted through the air and through um, um saliva. Right. It was not. The touch surface, it was, well, first it was touch surface and then it was airborne, right? So the mask made sense. But now we're clearly at a point where this person's wearing a Supreme mask. This person's wearing Adidas. This person wearing a scarf. This person has their hand over their face, right? This person's wearing a face shield, which actually doesn't, it just just goes down. There's nothing down here. No. Nope. So it's open. Sides, sides, bottom, open, right? And nobody blinks an eye, questions it, says anything. That's because to the point you just made, but I truly believe we're just getting exhausted. We will enforce, but we've seen too many tapes on social media where people are getting assaulted. Um, like we're just, you know, and at the same time, like I believe that people are also just intelligent enough to say, hey, this person's walking in here. They might be in here 20 minutes tops. They don't have a mask. They're not coughing. They're moving quickly. Just... I don't feel like throwing right. fists. Just, I don't care. And also, it's it's almost like working at the bank, right? And getting held up. I'm not willing to die for the bank's money. Fuck this bank. <laughs> I don't care. Take the money. The best, the best part, the best part about this uh, Justin Trudeau whole situation here with him uh, getting close contact and now he has to isolate himself conveniently timed isolation and everything. The best part is that he is a double, well, triple. He even got his booster. He's a triple dosed per person of stature who was doesn't have. He doesn't have. He didn't say he has it. He said he was around. He was exposed. Yeah, he said to he it. got tested and it came back negative. Right. It was exposed and still feels that he needs to quarantine. Like what are we like? What is I Canada? said? He's what calling. What are we doing calling, here? He's calling. What the fuck are we sick, doing here? Man. He's what calling in sick. What the fuck are we doing here? And it just so it's happens nipples. that the House of Commons for their winter House of Commons took their winter break. They're all supposed to gather on Monday, which is a time where any 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 person uh, who's part of this can question him about this truckers thing where they can bring it up. Conveniently, his five days isolation falls on that time period. So he won't have to discuss that. Good job. Good play, coward. Well, listen, this here. is who we voted for. Well, this is who y'all voted for. I don't vote because I understand this is how it's going to turn out. Well, Either look, way. Look, 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 Justin Trudeau, um, uh, you, you're playing the ultimate game of a uh, of hooky here. And <laughs> I've, is, yeah, I've, played, I've, played, I've played it a couple times myself. And Dumb I thought statements had dipped. <laughs> and I had I thought I would go untouched as the champion. I'll leave my story out of it. But you, sir. <laughs> You have set the bar somewhere else. So kudos for that. But yeah, this year, this you are afraid of confrontation. You are afraid of doing your job because this is your job, as uncomfortable as it might be. So you're Bro, just, you signed up for this and you are. My nigga was outside when it was election time. 
my nigga was outside and he was all for the people. And I'm going to do this for the people. No passports. Don't worry about it. My nigga got elected and hasn't followed through on one fucking thing that he said so far. And people still want to sit here and follow all these rules. And, Y'all and, are dumb and, as and, fuck. That, and that's fine. And you know what? You, the point you made, and we can end this year. This will be the whole Yeah, thing. we're going to have to because I already told you I could go for days on this. Yeah, but the point that you made about Justin Trudeau and not following through and being a liar and so on and so forth. By the way, and you said you don't vote. This is Justin Trudeau is like what number? I don't know how many PMs we've had since the history. I'm gonna of say in the, we're in the 60s. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess that we're in the, the 60s. The point is, is this is copy and repeat. So the next guy or girl you vote for, same thing, and so on and so forth. All right. So moving public, uh, what are your thoughts? We need a here? Trump over here. We need a we need a Trump over here. Somebody will follow no rules. Not me. Um. Uh, do you? I want it. That Justin Trudeau is just going to be at home playing GTA, or is Need he it. Truly, truly sick? Leave it in the comments. Trump. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Trump.ca, baby.